The UK government have sent letters out informing people on lower income or no income that they may qualify for help with their energy costs. The letter is called the Warm Home Discount Scheme and states that people may qualify for a discount of £150 to help with the cost of their energy bill. To be eligible to receive it, you have to have been in receipt of a means-tested benefit or tax credit and have your name on your electricity bill. The qualifying date is the 13th of August 2023 and the letter states that the discount will be shown and applied to electricity bills by the 31st of March 2024. It gives a long list of electricity suppliers that are participating in the scheme and it sounds like it will be a great help to many over the coming winter when heat is needed, especially for the old and the vulnerable. However, there are a couple of flaws in the scheme that perhaps the government might have overlooked, which would cause stress and anxiety to a group of people that have already had many trials and tribulations to go through last year in order to receive the £400 discount that was paid in instalments over the latter part of 2022 and early 2023. It was established at that time that many vulnerable people do not have direct contact with their energy suppliers since they have prepaid meters. A majority of these are in the name of the landlord and not that of the tenant. These people will not be able to qualify since they don't have their names attached to these prepaid meters. It's the exact same scenario as previously and once again it will be the most vulnerable that will be affected unless the government step in now and change this. The letter also states that it must be an electricity company. Unfortunately, not all rented accommodation has electrical heating appliances. Many rely on gas for their warmth during the colder months, but gas bills are not mentioned, only electricity bills. The letter states if tenants have the same supplier for their gas and their electricity, then they can receive the discount through their gas bill. But what if their electric and gas suppliers are not the same? What about the people that live in mobile homes, caravans and motorhomes? Do they not qualify for the warm home discount? If help is being offered, then it should be offered to everyone and not just to a selected few. I feel sure this has just been an oversight by the government and they will rectify this very shortly, making it easy for all those on low income or no income to apply and receive the warm home discount this winter.